Of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day. Turn on the machines and live forever. I have a fever. Or is it hot? I don't know. I mean, it's stepping down. It's kind of confusing. Uh, like I said yesterday, I'm still feeling about the same. Maybe a little better. It's hard to tell. But, um,. Every day I say I turn on machines and live, and then I say I'm alive, and I'm, I'm alive. And it's Friday, and I've been here since, what, Monday? You know, lots of people are doing this kind of thing, but today I'm going to listen to messages, I think mostly, even though we don't have a lot of new ones, so we're just going to go back in the past and listen to some old ones today for the hour. Are you ready for this, viewers? It's going to be a different kind of day, unless people get on the phone somehow and then talk to each other or something. Um, here's the, the last couple of yellow fella messages from yesterday, and it's just looks like, um, reading poetry or something, though. What we want is not freedom, but it's appearances. It's deep. Yeah, okay. It says, what we want is not freedom, but it's appearances. It is for these simulacra that man has always driven. And since freedom, it has been said. It is no more than a sensation. What difference is there between being brave and I'm being free and believing ourselves free? But I don't understand why we must do things in this world. Why we must have friends and aspirations, hopes and dreams. Wouldn't it be better to retreat to a faraway corner of the world where all its noise and complications would be heard no more? And we could renounce culture and ambitions. We would lose everything and gain nothing. For what is there to be gained from this world? We are so lonely in life that we must ask ourselves if the loneliness of dying is not a symbol of our human existence. If I were to be totally sincere, I would say that I do not know why I live and why I do not stop living. Again, this is not me, this is some philosopher. This is not how I feel. <laughs> I'm just reading this stuff. The answer probably lies in the irrational character of life, which maintains itself without reason. <laughs> oh. Hmm. If I were to be totally sincere, I would say that I do not know. Oh, there. There's that mic. Is it working? Uh oh. Oh, you messed it up. Kick the. Kick the. Yep, the one in the front there. No, the, it's the yellow cord that's coming out of there. It's unplugged from the camera. Oh, oh. There. Oh, uh oh. Camera's messed up. Is that working? Now it's working. Uh, oh, I took listen to a lot of messages today. Yeah. Listen to, listen to the messages then. How's your throat? Fine. Listen. Good. Fine. Yeah, well you gave me the virus. Got it. You got you got it. You got it. You spread it to me. It's in the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in the microphone. Yeah, don't use that microphone, I guess, huh? Quarantine. Quarantine microphone. Messages. You want to hear this message from Alpha? Yeah. I live and why I do not stop living. The answer probably lies in the irrational character of life, which maintains itself without reason. Well, all right. True, confession, true confessions are written with tears only. 
but my tears would drown the world as my inner fire would reduce it to ashes. Okay. How important can it be that I suffer and think? My presence in this world will disturb a few tranquil lives and will unsettle the unconscious and pleasant naivete of others. Although I feel that my tragedy is the greatest in history, greater than the fall of empires, I am never, never, <laughs> never the less aware of my total insignificance. I am absolutely persuaded that I am nothing in this universe, yet I feel that mine is the only real existence. Okay. Well, y'all are supposed to read them out of books. Why? Make them sound smart. Yeah. Reading a message to get on TV. Yep. Don't read books, yellow fellow. Just talk to your uh, heart. Face. Yep. Reading a message to get on TV. Like you said. How important, how important can it be that I suffer and think my presence in this world will disturb a few tranquil lives. He's been listening to so watch too much, uh, Wednesday, never more. Although I feel that my yeah. tragedy is the greatest in history, Cheer up, than the yellow fellow. Empires, I am really so sad. aware of my total insignificance. What I am absolutely persuaded yeah, that bad day I am not know Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's very smart. I don't really know what's going anymore. Maybe we'll send us some old Mr. Ginsu messages or anything. We'll try to call him back. You trying to preach? Yeah, I shouldn't talk too much. I, he just... Six, one, uh -oh. zero, two, two. Oh, it's a program. You can call us back. I'm listening to messages. But not your poetry. <laughs> yeah, we listen to some of your poetry reading, but uh, I don't know why you're doing that. Goth poetry. Oh. Yes, I'm still here. Hello. Alright. Well, it's called Freddy Producer, and then listen to uh, old messages. Freddie, how are ya? Hello. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm uh, at the boiler right now, or at the Crypt Stripper right now. I'm setting up um, this free Radio Olympia event. It's a benefit for Red Eagle Soaring. Oh, yeah, you're on board. Uh, and we're doing, uh, I'm, I'm like, right now, to function and as, with events. What I'm doing is setting up a GameCube to a uh, TV so people can uh, play Super Smash Brothers. Oh, I like that game. It's a good game. The GameCube version of Super Smash Brothers has got full player on a big TV. Uh, yep. And then a bunch of other uh, systems and things. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. Well, where is that? You you wanna go, you wanna go with that, Andrew? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, come on, and come on, guys, get yeah. down here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> they got a gift for you. It's called COVID. Yeah, you want... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll take one. No. No. How about... Okay. How about... Uh, maybe not... <laughs> maybe... Long, do you guys have uh, long COVID? That's what I'll take. Please. Yeah. Right. I think I have it. I still can't smell things. I lost my sense of smell. You really lost your sense of smell. I did. Damn. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I like... That's the one That's the one symptom that everyone's like, that's the symptom. It but at the same time, like, that's kind of the symptom that you, like, don't think is real. Or, like, people have, a lot of times have it and don't have that symptom. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have the... It's weird. I'm smelling things that smell really strong, and then it's like, there's no smell. Like this. Wow. What are you, what are you smelling? Like, 
garlic. Um, I have like this, uh, these, uh, valerian root. <laughs> smell like feet. Smell like feet and dirt, and they don't smell like anything. Um, and I've got this, like, cocoa butter that smells strongly. I've got some sriracha sauce that doesn't smell. But I'm eating food. Damn. Food tastes good to me, though, still. I'm still eating. Oh, yeah? That's, that's a blessing. Praise him. Thanks. Praise God for his blessing. But, um, I don't really know. Maybe I <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That's the same guy who gave you COVID in the first place. Yeah. So. Fuck God. Fuck him. Fuck God. Damn you, God. <laughs> Damn God. Um, <laughs> Damn you to hell, God. <laughs> but, the, um, it's weird. I don't know why I can still eat food. I thought, like, if you don't have a sense of smell, the, the food would be like, ugh, what is this food? But it still is good to me. I don't know how that works. Like, how does it let you like how can food be good if you can't smell it like you know how much like basically uh smelling is a really big part of tasting yeah that's what they say but maybe it just tastes salty or something you know even like um here's a weird one when i'm doing the coffee shop stuff they always tell you if you're going to smell something you should open your mouth so that you're like engaging the like taste aspects of smell hmm what it's supposed to be like uh, smelling with an open mouth I never knew that taste smelled different than smell uh hmm yeah I mean there's, there are things that have no smell and then uh, have a strong taste you smell that I think I am smelling some sriracha, and I think I can smell it better with my mouth open. Oh, yeah. Is this one of those times where you're like, do you now could eat anything? Like, you could eat, like, a whole onion that you found in the parking lot. Oh, really? Yeah. You can just, like, eat an onion as if it was an apple because you can't smell anything. Is that a good idea? I don't think it's good, but I don't know if I don't think it's good because of, like, an innate, like, I'm against it because of how, if I had it and I, um, you know, was not, if I was able to smell and I had it, it would not be good. But I think it would be fine for you now. I don't know, what does that do to your stomach? Like, just a whole onion? I feel like I've had half of a whole onion in a, like, I've made a stir fry or something. Mm-hmm. And I've cut up a half of an onion and eaten basically half of a whole onion in the single stir fry and been okay, but... Oh, yeah, no, I, um, I do that all the time. Yeah. So, like, probably your stomach would be fine. I don't know, it's like, is a raw onion versus, like, a... a how much raw onion? I mean, burritos have a lot of onions in them. I used to know a guy who would eat garlic sandwiches because it's really good for you. Yeah, I'm thinking about eating some raw garlic. I have some over there. You might as well. I don't think you... I mean, so you said the food is good. Yeah. Is it like a textural thing or are you tasting stuff? Taste? I feel like I could taste it. I don't know. What do you think, Andrew? I can taste them now. I have you can taste stuff too? Back, your sm- mo- yeah. Your smell's back? I can smell things, yeah. He's like a two days ahead of me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's not always, it's not always like a permanent, it's not even like a guaranteed symptom or anything. So. I, I heard it's brain damage, though. Uh, yeah. Ah. I, I don't know if I have That's not very nice to hear. I think I got uh, blocked sinuses. I lost it. I have brain damage. Brain damage. I did not. Am I gonna be? If I'm acting weird in the future, you gotta tell me. Uh, I'll be like, hey, your brain damage is showing. I think you got brain damage. Yeah. Uh oh. Hey, Jesus. Cover your face better. 
Oh. Andrew's sneezing. Oh. Hey, what's wrong with you? You have brain damage or something? <laughs> hey, yeah, um, <laughs> I think that might be the brain damage. Well, right, you, he's got brain damage. I think you should tell me anyway. You would tell me, right, if I was doing making a mistake? Yeah. I probably would. I think I mean, brain damage. I like to think of myself as a nice guy who wouldn't be uh, that way, but I feel like we've developed a like a working relationship where we uh, can be honest with each other. I don't do <laughs> I don't do a whole lot of things that have rights and wrongs though. Yeah, it's true. So it's difficult to make a mistake. Like, like yeah. I think I think we should change the background tape a little bit. Like, is that are you? What are you uh, brain damage? I'm not sure. I think you might have brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> is that you or the brain damage talking? Yeah. And then what are you? It's, it's like the um, the Swiss lumberjack thing uh, I was thinking about like a couple <laughs> of months ago. Yeah. I mean, you're really. It's one of those things. One time, I'm gonna tell a uh, viewer something. I uh, don't tell many people. I haven't told you either. But, uh, one time when I was in the desert, I did acid Whoa. in the desert. And then, uh, I was a little worried at the time that, like, another entity would, like, come into my body or something, you know? Like, take over. Mm. And that I wouldn't be the same person, um, afterwards. Like, and uh, even to this day, I don't think it happened. But if it did happen, there'd be absolutely no way to know because I wouldn't know. Like, how do you know that kind of thing? Because it is uh, unknowable. Are you a new well, person? I feel like brain damage is the same thing. Like yeah. you might get like sort of brain damage, but nobody like that's not. There's no way to tell. Yeah, unless you catch me eating squirrels in a corner or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess other people could know, but you might not be able to know. Maybe that's what's uh, a scary part of it. I thought that eating squirrels in the corner was socially acceptable. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. I mean, it's not too bad. At least Better it's than... Eating like squirrels, yeah, eating squirrels in, uh, pu in right in front of everybody else. So at least you're going in front. Right, at least you're in the corner. That's the place if you're gonna eat live squirrels. <laughs> and then I would have gotten some kind of uh, squirrel catching abilities. Anyway, I got brain, you got I got brain damage, but I'm, now I'm able to catch a squirrel. Oh uh, yeah, you're like huh. Somehow I can uh, totally, I'm like on that squirrel's level. Yeah. I've got the brain capacity of a squirrel. <laughs> squirrels don't hang out in corners. There's no corners in nature. You get the squirrel from That's nature, true. And then you take it to a corner. They live in a rounded off area in a tree. Trees are round. Yeah, you know, round. You go to the, you, you get the squirrel out of nature and take it into a corner to eat it. Yeah. That's why if you ate a squirrel in a rounded off area, you'd be like, uh-oh, I think you uh, might it's have brain damage. Brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Squirrel in the corner is some planning. You couldn't get... Yeah. Like, hey, you're, you're a bit strange, but probably not... Uh, you know, probably no brain damage. This is a weird guy. Yeah. Oh, it looks fine. I, uh, I did go down to Centralia, but there was this whole thing first where, um, one of the people who were going to be visiting in Centralia was like, uh, I think I'm sick. I was like, oh no, they're sick, so we can't go to Centralia. But then, so Madeline and I didn't have any food in the fridge, because we had been planning to go down to Centralia and eat, like, Chinese food, basically, was the plan. 
And then uh, about when we put the pizza in the oven, then we got a message. It was like, we got a message that said, um, I'm not sick. And then, like, I don't know, they're not sick. Like, they maybe just stuck with the fan on or something. Were they sick or not? So they weren't sick? They apparently were not sick. And then you went to visit them? Uh, when we, when we went outside. That was our original, our original plan was to um, go to Centralia, eat Chinese food, and watch the Grinch. Live action with Jim Carrey, and then... Oh, what? Is that a good movie? Why are you going to watch the live action one and not the cartoon? Uh, you didn't let me finish. We're going to watch the live action one and the cartoon. Oh, in a row? Yeah. We didn't really uh, decide the order, but that was the whole plan. And then... Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. So, but this time, instead of doing that, because it was too late to do Chinese food, and watch the Grinch because I didn't want to be inside with them, uh, really. We went outdoors to this, like, McMinimum's bar, and I got a, uh, what is it? The hot buttered rum. I got hot buttered rum, and then, um, oh, and we sat by a fire. And uh, visited, and then also uh, talked to my uh, parents on Zoom earlier in the day. That's uh, that's separate, but also a part of the general like holiday, I guess. So that's what I did. They're not sick. The person's not sick now. I guess not. I don't know. I'm hoping they were like, I don't know, hungover or something. I don't know what. It's annoying. I, I really didn't know. like that idea. So, but, uh, you know, they're outside, staying apart, fine. I don't know, it's not, not great, not great. But, um, yeah. They got Chinese food in Centralia. Which one's Centralia? Is that where the, uh, the outlet malls are? Yeah. Pretty close. Why did you go to your family? They are really far away. Oh, really? And I had to work uh, the day before Thanksgiving, and I had to work today. I was opening the coffee shop, so I had to be to work at, like, 6 a.m. Wow. Where do they live? I had to, like, I had to, uh, yeah, so not going to do that. Yeah. It would be good. It would be good to see my family. I'm sad that I didn't get to see them, but... I got to see them on the video, and we're going to do something during Christmas, so. There you go. Oh. It'll be fine. Um, but it'll be good. It's, good. it's good to do, like, one holiday with family, because otherwise it's, like, uh, it's a lot, you know? Yeah. Uh, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm I was here. What? We're going to start the event. I don't know, eight, I think. But I'm sure if anyone can start. I've got like, now I've just set up uh, a Sega Genesis with Altered Beast, X-Men 2, uh, Sega, or no, Sonic Classic, which I think is the one that has the Dean Bean Machine on it. And, uh, Mother, I think I have one more Sega game, I just gotta find it. Very dark in here, if you've uh, been into the crypt. Not the best lighting, but pretty good for video games. Dark place. So you're going to play video games in there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's cool. That's a fun bar. Well, getting getting loud. Um, I'm going to play. Uh, One more time. Come on. That sounds fun. Oh, I think you're right. I think you, I do think you're right. Um, you want to go back to the studio tomorrow? I'm going to ask you, I guess, every day while I'm still in, in here. Just yeah, I would really like to. we gotta, we got to catch up with the tape stuff again. Yeah. It's too bad. 
but um, we we'll almost, that. We'll almost tomorrow, did it today. Saturday, I'm opening again tomorrow, but that's okay. And I'm, so I will open, get off at one, and I do a radio show at uh, five. Five. So maybe between one and five. Yes. You, do, you have, do you have any free time in uh, uh, that period? Um, I had to cancel my uh, breathing on everybody meeting. <laughs> uh, well, so I'll just like text you or something. Yeah. But, like, uh, I might, I'll see how I'm feeling. I might just like stay downtown or something. Maybe it'll be like pretty early in the afternoon. But. That sounds good to me. I will. All right. No, I'm not leaving the house. Hey, I'm also. We're also going to be broadcasting this event live on the radio. I don't know. We probably don't get the throw out where you are. So, but right, we I'm going to do. I'm doing a deep DJ set also. Like uh, it's going to be late, like at 11, I think. Yeah, you're going to play old country music. I'm going to play all my techno records. Hmm. Literally all of them. I think. I think that's um, that's my plan right now. Um, um, I was thinking I'm just going to listen to a bunch of Mr. Ginsu messages for the rest of the day because my throat is a little iffy. I'm glad Andrew got to join you and, um, this is about nice. I'm here. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Okay, I'll listen nice to... talking with you. There's a lot of messages to listen to. I'm I think there's a lot of unlistened to messages, right? Um, no, they're, they're listened to. I'm just going to listen to, like, really old ones, I think. Oh, that'll be even better. Yeah, I'll start... <sighs> you want to start... Go back to message one. I like it. 2011? Good idea. Hmm? Is search for Mr. Ginsu 2011, or do I have to just go back? No, no, no. Our oldest. I've never tried to do this before. Uh, the first voicemail yeah. we ever got was from Dan Dobler. No way. Ah, oh, Dan. On here. R.I.P. It was from January 2011. Wow. That's so far back. How is it the first one? That's crazy. Wow. It's only, it's only January, so only months in. The freaking hero. It's here. the best. Hi, hey, this is Dan. Alright, well, hi. Hey, uh, I'm I, so I'm 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 Hi, this is Dan. Hi, I'm so I can say hi. Uh, uh, right now, I, I'm so uh, enjoy, enjoying being on the show, and, and I, I enjoyed uh, uh, Wednesday, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to being there next Wednesday. Uh, I, I have something, something to talk about uh, that I, I'll tell you about before the show, but I, I'm just going to say hi. I hope, hope you do okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Brain damage. What? Me? No. Oh. Oh, it looks like Dan Bennett. Brain damage. Brain damage. I wonder where that first Mr. Ginsu message is. Yeah, Mr. Ginsu. Yeah. I'm looking for it. Uh, how long has he been talking to you? For years and years, huh? Yeah. It's probably not called Ginsu. Uh -oh. Because his, his name's not Mr. Ginsu. You know? Yep. Uh oh, if they're. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's Steve. The internet's gonna crap out on here and then, then we gotta, uh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. Now you gotta talk. Uh oh. Yeah, now, now we, we gotta, gotta talk. Got half an hour. 
Nope. That's nope. Not, that's not gonna work. You gotta, you gotta get those messages going. Do I? You said you're sick, huh? Yep, I'm sick. But now I have half an hour to say stuff because the thing went out. Does that happen very often? Mm. Uh, it does, but usually it's not. Everything is not so connected in the computer. If I turn it off now, well, I could easily, I could do it and then restart and then come back. But then it's gonna be a blip. Try it now. It says. Yeah, but that's not gonna be do anything. Should we restart? I don't know. You know, listen to messages if it doesn't work. I want to find that Ginsu message. The first one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's all this stuff. It's I think it's not gonna. Email? I think it's. Uh, I think we're. It's down. The whole thing is down. Okay. Well, what is that? What was that? What? You were just on it. This. I don't know. The thing that this. Is this the other one with Dan's message on it? This that is one. this is the one that we were listening to. Yeah, so you can't find other ones there? Nope. They're not going. That's weird. It broke. Yep. But the timer's still moving. Well you gotta uh, keep on talking. You get the brain damage? I'm gonna have brain damage. I've been smelling stuff. I keep trying to smell stuff. Nothing smells. My throat doesn't hurt too bad. I that's why I wanted to do the uh uh, but I think last time I was talking and then eventually my throat hurt later on but I feel okay now um, so maybe we could just get through it I was like I don't know I guess yesterday was worse than today maybe I am getting better the worst symptom is brain damage yeah I might be getting better now but maybe I'm just getting used to it maybe you never get better long COVID yeah you get sick and then when you get better you're not better. Yeah, do people still die from COVID? Yeah. I think uh, it's like uh, it it is a way to test if you have um, what's it other conditions? What's it called? Pre-existing conditions. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> almost nobody dies if you have the vaccine. Then you're probably not going to die. But people still. And then it's you could die. People are um, extra vulnerable or whatever. The extra vulnerable. If people are afraid. But I I don't know. People, like, what about the guy from um, Fountains of Wayne? Yeah, he or got like, it and then he died. Yeah, or like Meatloaf died too. They got it and then they died. You think Meatloaf was had a, a, a underlying condition? Or what is it? Yeah, I he think did? so. He must have. I don't know. I mean, he was pretty fat. Yeah. That's why they called him Meatloaf. You're fat, and I'm not. I'm not. Uh, no brain damage. Oh, yeah. You think it's because I'm fat I got the brain damage? Yeah. It only targets fat people. Yeah. It says you got the brain damage now. Yeah, I think I got the brain damage. I can't smell things. You couldn't smell things, but I think I can't smell things for now. It's two days. Uh-oh. Um, who else died? Um, a lot of people... There's like that one person who was on Broadway and they died from, uh, they were like healthy and then their b whole body like fucking slowly deteriorated and they had like a l amputated leg and stuff. From COVID? Yeah. It was like the, like the, the main like scare case basically, you know? Yeah, people worried about it. He was on what Broadway? About that guy? He was on Broadway? Something like that. And then they had to cut off his leg? <laughs> <laughs> to cut off his fucking leg. And then he of died. COVID. And then he fucking died. Why did they cut off his leg? Because they don't know. Uh, uh, it's a new virus, and they were afraid. Wait, was it? Did he get bit in the leg by a COVID zombie? What's yeah, that? like he did. What's going on he with your? Attacked. What's going on with your legs? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know what actually happened to him, but he was a really bad case. We couldn't breathe. I mean, people get on the ventilators. You can't breathe. It's all in your torso. He had like the worst death. What about those? Co remember the COVID toes? No. Yeah. My feet are not blue. No. No. Blue feet, huh? Mm. Uh oh, I got blue pants. Yeah. Uh, Pe can you call anybody? Wow. That that doesn't happen very often. Yeah, no, it's all off the thing. We're not even live. Um, 
But I think it's recording. Still. That's the main thing. Yeah. So it is live. Well, it's live on the recording, but now we were live streaming. Oh, really? Oh, we were, and then it stopped? Yep. Uh, then maybe we should reset the whole thing, then. Well, that's okay. Nobody nobody tuned in for the whole time we were live streaming anyway. Do you ever pause it? No. Did it restart it? Uh, no. <laughs> I have done that for technical difficulties, I guess. But I was, we were, um, nobody tuned in. We were live for half an hour. Nobody tuned in anyway. Now there's 25 minutes left. Wow. But, uh, Charlie Pride, remember Charlie Pride? He died. He died. COVID. They put him in front of a bunch of people. And then he died. And then he died. He was an old man. And then they made him do the country music award. I don't know if they, they probably didn't make him do it. He performed at the country music awards. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. There was a lot of people. COVID was a death sentence. Now it's like, I don't know. You get it? You stay inside for only five days now, too. I wanted to stay inside for fucking two weeks. You can stay inside for like 10 days, at least. People will get upset. So you gotta go back to work. Well... People, I mean, you shouldn't be worried about people getting upset. Yeah. Like, hey, if you don't do this, I'm gonna be upset. It's like, well, does that have any real consequences? Like, yeah. we're talking good, con- negative consequences here in the world. Um, like in general, the whole thing no matter. You cannot show up for like as long as you want, and they'll have you back. I should probably not go back to work tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. No. What do you mean tomorrow? Where? Tomorrow after work. That you told them that? No. No, not tomorrow. You're so sick. Tomorrow's uh, market day. Get everyone sick at the farmers market. Yeah, not especially at food service. <laughs> food service. Jesus. Do it. No, n- at least next week for that, especially. Um, maybe. I mean, that's only like two more days. Yep. You're gonna have to go back on the next time. Mm-hmm. Um, next week. Because they yep. said five days, but it's going to be longer than... I mean, it's, it's that long. Um, yeah, I haven't put on shoes. You put on shoes? No. I haven't put on shoes since Sunday. Or maybe even before. Wait, what day is today? Wait, no, I think it was Sunday because I... Wait, did I... What, what day... What day did I do the program at the studio last? Saturday? I think it was Saturday. And... Um, <laughs> on Saturday, I was at the studio, and then there was that night when you tested positive. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Fucked up. And then on Sunday, I was, um, here. So I, I haven't put on shoes since Sunday. Today is... Friday. Friday. Almost wow. gonna be a week. Wow. Maybe I should go outside. It's a long time. I should I go outside? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Today, somebody knocked on the door like a solicitor. Yeah. So I'm like trying to hide out so hard, and I'm just like, I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna do nothing. I've been sitting in the house watching TV, a little bit of reading, mostly TV. Mm-hmm. And I wake up like, oh, I guess I'm done with TV for the day. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> Wake up. Uh, that was a pretty good time, I guess. Is that really what? Is it all you could have dreamed it could be? Uh, this is what I said during lockdown too. I'm like, I mean, all I want to do is just do nothing. But then I did it for like a month, and I was like, wow, this is a lot. A lot of nothing. I mean, it is. It's nice to do nothing, but then I want to go get doing nothing supplies. Yeah. Like. I'm gonna do nothing, but then I want to go buy, or, or I guess I want to smell too. I wish I could smell. If I could smell, and if I could not feel like shit, that'd be good. Yeah, but I didn't feel like shit there in that time. But I, I, I still wasn't going to the store. So maybe there was a time when I didn't have to do anything, but I could potentially do things. That would be good. <laughs> but like, um, like you want to be able to do things. Um. But not do it. I uh, was feeling that the other day. Well, like I, um, 
I have something to do, it feels better to do nothing. Yeah. And so when you're doing nothing on your free time? Yeah, when you're doing nothing in your free time, you're like, man, I'm bored. Man, I should do something. Yeah. But if you have... If you have something to do, you're like, I wish I don't have enough time to not do nothing. I gotta, I gotta really soak up this nothing time. Yep. Well, it would be vacation for me right now anyway. And then the weekend. Yeah. I guess I'm on a vacation. So it's Four like day weekend. Yeah, I was trying to figure that one out. It's like better is it better if I if, since I if I had to get the virus, is it would it have been better if I got it while uh working was happening so I could take time or is it better the weekend? For me, personally, I don't know. They both have up and downs. What do you like? Do nothing or do nothing. <laughs> it's do, they're both doing nothing and it doesn't make a difference. But now, I mean, I could be doing something. That's the thing. So right now, could be doing something. Mm-hmm. But I'm doing nothing. I guess I could be at that free Radio Olympia event, but I wouldn't be going to that anyway. Um, but today's Friday, so I, yeah, I didn't even have, um, I would have had the vacation day anyway. I think I would have been doing almost the same thing, except for I would have gone to the studio. Yeah. And came back, and that's it. I would have worked for a week. Mm-hmm. But then today I would have gone to the studio, but then I probably would have come back and done the exact same thing I was doing anyway. Mm, yep. But then I wouldn't have uh, been sick. Or maybe I was supposed to be moving. Actually, I told myself that I was going to spend all this whole vacation because I had like two extra days. I was going to spend it working on the house. I guess we can do that tomorrow. Mm, nope. All right. Too all right. sick. Too sick. Not Too sick to it. work. Doing nothing. That's uh, maybe I'll go to the house just for fun. Tomorrow? I don't know, right now. Right now? <laughs> I yeah. Know. I'm thinking about going to the house. Like, if I go in a car and drive around, that's not gonna, uh, it's not bad? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get in the car and go, uh, get some drive through. Not the drive through. <laughs> go to the house. Maybe go to the See what's up there. There's nobody at the house, so we might do that. Yeah. I don't feel too bad about that, cause, but I was like, even when I wasn't, um, like, hey, you want to go to an empty house? Maybe I would have if I had that option in a car. Um, during lock, like extreme lockdown time. But I didn't leave the house during extreme lockdown time. And then, um, if I had heard somebody else doing You're on extreme lockdown, but I guess we're still staying on lockdown. And there's like people on the road or something. Yeah, but what are they doing? I'm like, hey, these people are like 10 feet away from me. Are they? Are they like 6 feet away from you though, right? On the road? Mm-hmm. That's too close. Right? Or the outside? Yeah, but uh, like during like real virus times, there's no one on the road, so you can go and actually like drive around. Yeah, but what about yeah. right now? Like, if I g- get in the car and get a stoplight, and then we're going to give the neighbors the virus in the car? Well, maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. Outside, they're not going to get it? No. Yeah. How uh, did they get it? Like, uh, from the air or something? Roll down the window? Can't jump? Yeah, i got to close the window or something. Keep the windows closed. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna go look and say, "Yep," and come back watch more TV. It's definitely nighttime though. I've been going to bed immediately early and waking up, but uh, not going anywhere else. All right. Well, we got 15 minutes. That's a while. Yeah. We did five minutes since I. L- I think it was about about five minutes since I noticed that the thing was going on. Uh, more than that, like 10 minutes, 15 uh, minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to finish, finish this thing out this way. Okay. I feel okay. I thought I was going to be doing all the messages because I thought that my uh, I couldn't handle it in my voice, but I feel fine. I think maybe I'm, yeah, and it comes in waves. Yeah, it does. I thought I didn't have it yesterday. Yeah. So that's maybe another reason why everybody is... Uh, 
why it spreads so much, and you're like, oh, I'm fine, oh, no, I'm not, oh, yes, I am. And then I guess it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, weird virus. Yeah. Oh, it's unprecedented. Unprecedented times. Now it's, we're years into it, and what are we going to do? Uh, I don't know, it's like pretty bad in the, in the county again right now. I don't think it's going to oh, yeah. go away. Everywhere it's going around, yeah. It's got to be way worse than it, it, the numbers also because um. I didn't, well, maybe I told the state job about it, so maybe I am counted officially. Yeah, I took a PCR test. Oh. So maybe we, we are counted then. Let's see, I'm not counted. But the numbers got to be way higher than they are because I think so. I was barely counted, so. <laughs> a lot of people get it and they don't even think about it. Well, why would you get counted if you, uh... Because people... Uh, you get the test at home, it's positive, and you stay home, and that's it. I don't yeah. need to tell anybody about it. There's people who get sick nowadays, even, they, they're all sick, and then they keep going to work, and then they just never test, and then they get over it. Uh, they're yeah. doing contact tracing or something. Well, anyway, how about the, uh, any, anything else? Um, nope, nothing else in the world. Yeah, there's nothing else but this house. Yeah, Black Friday. Oh, it's Black Friday. You got a Black Friday yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, Thanksgiving, today's Black Friday. Um, I heard Black Friday is going to go down. I used to use Black Friday every year, up, even up until, what, 19? Yeah, but Black Friday is, uh, they just moved it to Thanksgiving night. Well, in, like, a long time ago, though. Yeah. Isn't that fucked up? But that was like four years ago now. Yeah. You think people were just like, Thanksgiving's during the day, so we're going to go at night now. Remember four years ago? Yeah. Um, in 2019, I think 2019, we went. Uh-huh. And got micro SD cards or something from yeah. Walmart. Um, I checked it out. It was crazy. Yeah, okay, let's go look at it. Look at it. Um, there was a big TV. And you saw it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost got TV back then. Mm-hmm. Like maybe I should buy this giant TV. Uh, I don't know if they're doing. It. Are they doing it? I got a projector. Are they? Do they want you to work? Where is that projector? Um. Right there. Yeah. Yep. That's it. You ever use it? Nope. Is it open? Yeah, it's just sitting there. It's got a lot of dust on it. Well, yep. It's probably bigger than, um, I mean, it'll be bigger than the TV. I got a sheet. Yeah. Is it going to be bigger than the TV? Uh, yeah. But it's not going to be 4K. Nope. <laughs> not very good quality. <laughs> There's, like, new... Laser technology or something? Laser projectors? Yeah. They're projecting lasers? You know what I'm talking about? I know what the words laser and projector technology are. Yeah. Projector, laser projector. Oh, there's this new laser technology, you know? Oh, you mean like new things that are made with lasers? Like mm -hmm. lights? Like, uh, no. la laser's an acronym, you know? Laser. You know laser's an acronym? Uh huh. Light emitting diode. Oh no, that's not light <laughs> admitted. Zapping from the uh, something. L a L light. Uh. Light emitted radiation. That's it's L a z. Z s L a s. It's a S. Laser? Light accelerated. Not laser. Light accelerated. I got a laser. Look out, I got a laser. It's a laser. From the something emission of radiation. Right? Admission of radiation? It's Light. a laser, though. Not a it's definitely not a laser. Amplified. Mm, it might be amplified. L is it light? It static. must be light. Emission, radiation, 
I just heard it's an acronym, and they could put, put you could put periods after it all, but then they got rid of them, and now it's just what it is, like scuba, uh, scuba, um, underwater breathing apparatus. Yeah. Uh, okay. Self-contained, I think. That sounds right. Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. That's a CUBA, right? A scuba laser. I know scuba. Yeah, you can use a laser in the water. I don't yeah. know the um, laser, laser though. Laser um, projector. Is that what that one is? No. What about the ones at the movie theater? They got the fancy 4K movie theater. Are those lasers? I think they're just 4K projectors. I think laser technology is like new. Oh, they. <laughs> Uh, you want to buy this new projector? It's made out it's, of lasers. It's got uh, lasers in it. Well, hey, sure. you you want this new technology? Hey, did you know lasers are the future? You want this new technology? I, I'm not, I'm sure I'm not sure. I'm questioning whether or not I want this new technology. It's got lasers in it. Oh really? Oh, I should go buy it then. Yeah, lasers. Oh, uh, lasers. Future. Lasers are the f- lasers are like. The future, like retro futurism. You know about retro futurism? Um, lasers. Yeah, it's lasers. Like the, the uh, Epcot. Like yeah, like Epcot, like the Jetsons. Yeah. Like the seventies, like Star Trek from like Captain Kirk. Like you could still tell that everything was like very seventies, even though it's <coughs> yeah. It's like every era has the future. Now I they think had, they had phasers, not lasers. Yeah. Now yeah. I think. The future is um, uh, grim. Or <laughs> like, if they're making a movie about the future now, this is post-apocalypse. Yeah, post-apocalypse. That's the only future there is now. They they have it back then too, but now it's the but main one. Maybe. It's all like that with technology. At the same time, though, technology is still developing. Is it? Uh, what do we have? Fancier uh, computers. Like the post apocalypse is like it looks like Walking Dead, but they also have uh, lasers. Yeah, I don't know what they could possibly do um, other than make computers better uh, with technology now. Okay, did you see this new technology? Yeah, computers that they do more uh, shrink things or something. <laughs> shrink things. Yeah. We even, they made the shrinking ray. We need to be able to shrink things. What would that, how how would that help anything? It's like, uh, a man moves his house around, that kind of, that kind of stuff. Like move your belongings? Uh, yeah. Hey man, I guess gotta move. But, it, like, right now, like, um, there's like a lot of, uh, homeless people, or like... Uh, yeah, <laughs> feed the homeless, you, d- you d- take a grape and make it... But big. we already have the technology... For all that stuff, we just don't give it like to we expand the world. The world has the technology and the resources to help you move and to feed the homeless. But, but I want to make a grape to one b- giant grape. For one, it's not technology that's keeping people not fed and not moved. It's uh, the infrastructure and greed, mostly uh, greed. Say it's something that we don't really need but we want. Oh, oh shrinking things, <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't think it would. They would make it, but I don't think it would. Could really have too many implications. People don't need television. Yeah, we don't need television. But I think we should probably. Uh, we could. Uh, hi- we could hire. You know, give them the the homeless the sandwiches to m- move. It's like, hey hobo, you want a sandwich? Go move my my belongings. Yeah. And then we could move. Yeah. And then we could pretend like we shrunk everything down with Photoshop. Uh-huh. I invented a shrinking ray and shrunk all my furniture down and moved it. Look, and you make a th- whole thing about it. Really, all I did was give a hobo a sandwich. And he's like, we're going to go to that, though. And then the hobo, yeah, took the sandwich and mugged me, brought crack, and didn't move anything. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then someone else moved it. Someone else moved it. Somebody moved it. A professional for money. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Getting down to it now. Got about five minutes left. We're going to make it, I think. Wow. Yeah. Now we don't have time to reset. Yeah. I don't even... My, uh... <coughs> I don't feel that bad. That's good. Maybe I'm in an up... Up, uh... 
its own. Uh, yeah. Maybe a. So it's a roller coaster. I think we're about to start crying. Why? Roller coaster. Because an emotional roller coaster? Yeah. Has it been an emotional roller coaster for you? Yeah. <laughs> emotional. Well, that's people, how it feels. People are, are, are getting. I feel, I feel very emotional. Uh-huh. I cannot control the cadence or volume of my voice. Uh huh. I'm having an emotional and controlling the cadence and volume of what I am saying. Emotional breakdown. Brain damage. I continually have uncontrollable outbursts where I can't control the things that I say and then I <laughs> say them too loudly and uh-huh. it's difficult to understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Sometimes. And then it goes back to normal and you're like, whoa, what? Oh, hey. When I get pulled over, I just say, I'm sorry, officer. I can't speak English, and I don't know what you're saying to me. Uh, yeah. Cops give me nervous breakdowns. Officer, I don't understand what you're saying, and sometimes I don't know who I am anymore. Uh, yeah. I don't know about these. I'm waiting for these uh, mental problems that everybody's talking about. But if you're happening them, then how do you know? What, with COVID? Yeah. Is there mental problems with COVID? Yeah, mess up with your brain. In general. Oh, maybe that's why I have, I have an emotional um, roller coaster. <laughs> that's why you've been crying and uh, <laughs> bashing, ba- bashing things? Um, and then being happy. And then crying. Why do I keep crying and then being happy? Is this kind <laughs> sick? What the hell is going on? I don't know why you'd be really happy while you have the virus. I don't know, emotional roller coaster. Yeah. And there's supposed to be like anxiety, there's like anxiety and depression, which I was already kind of feeling that from just like hiding. That, yeah. Now am I going to like not want to hide anymore after this or extra hide? Take a valerian route. To, yeah. to relax? Yeah. You want to hide more after getting the virus or you want to hide less? You didn't really hide at all anyway. Yeah, I hide in general. <laughs> yeah, but what are you going to do in... And like, yeah, you were really looking like a hobo. I mean, like a hermit. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I see his hide. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do if, like, uh, like after, hide more or less? More. More? Yeah. But I'm pretty sure World War Three will happen. Like, pretty soon. Yeah? Convinced. I'm probably going to keep doing <laughs> the same, pretty much exactly the same thing that I was doing. China or this. China versus a lot of people. Russia versus a lot of people. Yeah. North, North Korea. Middle East. Um, Brazil. Um, Trump. Um, Blackface Trudeau. Yeah. Blackface uh, Trudeau. Like, with the Indian face? Indian face Trudeau. Yeah. Well, we made it. Show's over. Uh, we did it. Right. Here, press it. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Brownface Trudeau. It's uh, Friday. We're on TC TV Channel 22, 11, 3, and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, why don't you jump on YouTube? 360 Call me message. You get on TV. Yeah, 109 State Avenue, number 3. Check it out. Faulty Fridays, a good song, thank you. TCTV, Le Bebe, Jordi Fabulous, Oka Books, Four Star Video, Stop Spy Com, Rebecca Mountain Board, Northwest, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. And viewers, you're watching, thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.